Hello, um, let us uh, explore Einstein's photoelectric effect utilizing THET simulation. So our target, uh, target metal is a sodium. So we have a sodium metal right here. First thing is we're gonna adjust intensity to become a 20%, right? So we have an incoming photon with the uh, intensity 20%, and we're gonna decrease the wavelength and increase the frequency slowly to see any uh, four electrons ejected from the metal surface. All right, when the wavelength equals to 538 nanometer, we can see that electrons are ejected from the surface of the sodium, sodium uh, plate. So that frequency, that corresponding frequency is called threshold frequency. And that is also known as the work function. Work function is a minimum energy required to uh, allow the electrons to be ejected from the surface of the uh, metal. Now what happens is uh, we let us keep the wavelengths or frequency and increase the frequency. So I'm allowing, um, you can see that incoming photons. We increase the intensity. Increasing intensity is in, increase the, uh, the incoming photons. And we also notice that we also noticed that the, the uh, ejected electrons are more, more, more electrons are ejected, right? Now what am I gonna do is um, I'm gonna reset my uh, intensity to 50%. Now slowly increase the uh, frequency. So it's blue, purple, and when, if you notice that when I increase the frequency, when I increase the frequency, the uh, electrons has a higher kinetic energy. That indicates that electrons not only escape from the surface of the metal, but also they have a higher kinetic energy. So. Uh, what that indicates is the photons give all the energy to the electrons and electrons overcome the work function to escape from the surface and excess energy is converted to the kinetic energy of the electrons. Now, uh, if you take a look at the, we have two plates and both sides is uh, have a potential difference. So. Um, of course, we have a current, this current elect rate of uh, flow of electron uh, registered as a current. So what happened when I uh, increase the, the potential here? As I increase the potential here, the electrons gain more kinetic energy or the uh, speed of the electrons are increased, but the current stays the same. Uh, that is because intensity is the same. Intensity indicated that the number of incoming photons are same, so number of ejected electrons are same. But electrons has a higher uh, kinetic energy. And now what will happen if we uh, reverse the polarity? Uh, by when I reverse the polarity, what happens is the current start to decrease. Current start to decrease, and when the uh, the potential uh, the potential becomes minus three point eight, current becomes zero. This potential is is called stopping potential. So stopping potential means that electrons no longer pass through the gap, and current becomes zero. So this is a fantastic way to observe the uh, work functions and also observe uh, maximum kinetic energy and relation to a stopping potential. Um, so thank you.